Hello and welcome to Eat, Pray, Work TV. This is Goody Holmes as your anchor today, and I will be covering the town of Salem and the disturbances that they have been experiencing lately. Goody Hartnett will be with us today covering John Proctor's daily life. Goody Madison will be providing information about the team meeting between the Pilgrims and the Puritans. Last but certainly not least, Goody Blake may provide us exclusive coverage of the Salem Witch Trials. So here's Goody Hartnett with John Proctor's daily life. Thanks, Goody Holmes. Recently, we have been following John Proctor through his daily life during the Salem Witch Trials. First, we met up with John Proctor at his house, and we found out he had an affair with Abigail Williams, who was their family servant. How scandalous. Anyways, while we're at their house, Elizabeth Proctor gets taken into custody and is accused of witchcraft. John then goes to court to try and defend Elizabeth. It goes badly, and John ends up being convicted, while Elizabeth is safe for a year due to her pregnancy. In those past three months, John Proctor had been locked away in the dungeon and didn't talk to anyone. He became very distant and cold. We tried to get an interview with him, but he refused to speak. It's now time for John's trial, and he is sentenced to be hung today. The court let Elizabeth talk to him for the first time in months to try and convince him to confess. In the end, Elizabeth understood that John had finally started to feel at peace with himself again. John Proctor was hung on August 19, 1692. Thank you, Goody Hartnett. And here is an infomercial for blood diseases provided to us by Goody Guzman. Interesting. Now here's Goody Madison with coverage on the town meeting. Earlier this week, the Pilgrims and the Puritans were having a t meeting about who deserves to own the land that separates them. The Pilgrims believe that they deserve this particular part of the land because there are a number of Pilgrims that disagreed with the reorganization of their government and did not agree with the regulations for this government. So, they wanted to flee. On the other hand, the Puritans wanted the land due to the, the Salem witch trials, and they felt that if the accused were to stay in Salem and they were to flee, then the hysteria would calm down. Here is a small glimpse of that meeting that took place. Who would have known? Now, for the first time ever, you will view the Crystal movie trailer. In a little town called Salem, where innocent people go to church, and where children learn in school, when life was good. Until one day, a group of girls decide to go into the forest. Where the devil works. When everything started to go wrong, rumors start spreading, lies start to be told, trust begins to deplete, friendships are broken, fingers are pointed, people are blamed, accused of witchery, crimes are committed. Things turn up so animals are turned loose, and land becomes lost. Then, 
the trials start. Relationships are torn apart. Some truth comes out, causing more chaos in the town. The innocent are found guilty. The guilty are set free. Forbidden sins are spoken. But all of this started because someone had lost for another, even though it was forbidden. Because of love, innocent people die. But who would know in a little town called Salem? exciting. And now, what you have all been waiting for, the exclusive coverage over the Salem Witch Trials. To you, Goody Blake. Thanks, Goody Holmes. Today we will be covering a specific case in the witchcraft trials, the Rebecca Nurse trial. Rebecca Nurse was recently accused of the crime of murdering Mrs. Putnam's babies. Mrs. Putnam claimed that they seem to just shrivel up almost instantly after they are born in Rebecca's care. Rebecca seemed to be denying having anything to do with witchcraft and the crime she has been accused of. Rebecca stated that she will not confess to witchery and something that she is not guilty of. Abigail Williams responded to this by exclaiming to the court that these are all lies and there is no way that the judges could believe her. Betty Paris then cried out saying that she's seen her conniving with the devil. Mary Warren then proceeded to say, quite dramatically might I add, that Rebecca Nurse afflicts her. As you can see, Rebecca Nurse is not having much luck at the moment. Judge Danforth, having enough evidence from the girls, then stated that Rebecca would be charged with the murder of Mrs. Putnam's babies by witchcraft. She was given three months time in jail to confess. If she hasn't confessed by then, she will be hanged. Back to you, Goody. What an event! So today you have learned to take toad medicine to cure blood diseases. Goody Hartnett has provided us John Proctor's stressful life and predicted date of death. Goody Madison has provided some good information about the town meeting. Hopefully we'll find out who deserves that piece of land in the near future. Goody Blake showed us how crazy the witches are in the witch trials. One thing that was not mentioned in this newscast was that the release date of the movie trailer for all of you is when God accepts all of us sinners into his arms. Again, this is Goody Holmes on Eat, Pray, Work TV, and I'll see you next week with more information about the Puritans and their hysteric life.